Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. Uh, so we are in the middle of a huge online event. I've already sent out a couple emails about it so you've probably gotten them, but the Food Revolution Summit is happening right now and for a few more days. And it's Wednesday right now and I just finished listening to a couple of interviews that were awesome. So this morning, Senator Cory Booker from the state of New Jersey was interviewed and he talked about food policy. He talked about um, how we feed our kids, which really is up for me lately because I'm embroiled in the, you know, my twins just turned eight years old on Monday and um, just all the food stuff. Um, I'm really concerned about the food that they're serving in their school cafeteria and actually I'm about to schedule an appointment to meet with the head of food services for Pittsburgh Central School District um, to talk about maybe it's not a good idea for elementary school kids to have donuts and ice cream and cookies available at arm's reach every single day as they go through the lunch line. Like really, why would we do that to our kids? So anyway, I really enjoyed that interview. At the end, he said something about, um, let me see if I can get this right. Um, a thermometer and a thermostat that I thought was brilliant and I will remember forever. So go ahead and listen to that interview. It was really cool. And then the one I listened to after that was from Ron Finley. And any of you former students out there who've been in my classes probably remember because I was very much in the habit of showing his TED Talks in my classes. Um, well, his TED Talk. He's got a TED Talk. And it's been seen by something sick, like two and a half million people or something ridiculous. He's a gardener from Los Angeles. He calls himself the gangsta gardener from South Central Los Angeles or Southeast Los Angeles, where I don't know, wherever Watts and Compton are. Um, and he goes around planting gardens in the, the abandoned plots of land that they've got there. And he got a lot of media attention because, um, you know, like the apparently the city of Los Angeles doesn't care if there's like mattresses and used condoms and old toilets in those plots of land but if you try to grow a carrot there they get really upset so um anyway so that interview was really cool and what i love about these food revolution summit interviews is that john robbins who does the interviewing does his homework so thoroughly and i'm being interviewed on saturday and I hope you'll tune in to catch that. They put me on the, the first interview of the last day, which they told me is like special placement, which is exciting. And um, I just love these interviews. I love what I get from them. I love how carefully they pick the speakers. I love how thoroughly they prepare for the interview. That's not the interview of like, you know, tell us about what you do or blah, blah, blah. Like John Robbins before each interview watches every recording he can find, every interview, every reads everything he can, reads their books, reads everything, and comes with really thoughtful, considered questions. And the interviews go pretty deep. So I'm looking forward to mine. I hope you'll tune in. And so for this week's vlog, I just want to remind everybody that the online event of the year is happening right now. I'm tuning in. I hope you will too. Go ahead and click a registration button below if you haven't registered yet. This is your last chance pretty much. I think um, Saturday, my interview is in the morning and that's the last day. There's a finale day on Sunday where John and Ocean Robbins sort of sum things up. So um, by this time next week, when you catch my next week's vlog, the Food Revolution Summit will be over. This is your chance to catch it. And that's the weekly vlog. And if you have something you want me to address on the weekly vlog, go ahead and send it in. I'm at Susan at brightlineeating.com. I'll see you next week.